Hey guys, this is Heldozer from Zombieland Gaming, and I'm back in Vermintide 2. Now, I've been doing a little bit of work. Um, I'll show that um, this is my gear. Um, I, this did, I did not get this as a legendary. I actually upgraded this from it being a blue. I also upgraded my gun. Now, I've been playing a lot of veteran, and I've kind of started to make the move into champion. Um... I've also used, uh, in the crafting tool, I've definitely changed uh, some properties uh, compared to what they used to be on the gun and the shield and axe. Um, I can't re -re really reroll traits because I haven't broken down any of my legendaries. Now, the reason I call them legendaries is because I play World of Warcraft and anything that's orange is a legendary. So, um, going back to my equipment, I do have this one I could probably break. Um... It's 48 points difference. It's really not practical anymore. Um, I do have this guy, although I do have stuff, as you can see, that's different values. Um, and I I just like this one because of the home brewer. The stats on it aren't bad, but the home brewer is definitely something that's good. Um, I do have this necklace. Um, I probably could get away with wearing it, but I do like the block cost reduction and the push block angle so that's why I, I switched up from that the bark skin is advantageous at times but I decided to go with the properties over the bark skin um, I do have that gun but again I do like the properties on uh, the gun that I did craft up and that's my axe and shield um, these are the talents I'm running. I went with that guy, that guy, and that guy. Um, I really do like the armor, simply because that first hit, it could be a big hit that gets reduced, or it could be a small hit. It's just the luck of the draw, depending on whatever winds up getting through. I personally like that one. Um, a lot of people, I noticed, were asking this. Um, how do you you can put a, f a stone frame around your icon and it's in this guy it's in the cosmetics it's the third one over and if you bought the collector's edition you get the collector's frame all you have to do is click on it and it's on so hopefully somebody watching this might actually get an answer to a question they may have had now i have been kind of leveling everybody the same um i do like the iron breaker the iron breaker is probably the easiest of the three um but i just like playing a tank i've been told i play a good tank i like playing a tank um but i'll show off um pretty much those go first two are at 19 Karelians at 18 zealots at 18 and pyromancers at 16 now it's okay to play to get away with some of the stuff especially the pyromancer can do in uh, veteran and recruit, but once you get into champion, you really have to be careful. And the beam staff seems to be a pretty, I think, the best staff. I might be wrong, people have their opinions, but I really like it. Um, so, again, with the, the two higher difficulties, you have to be careful because friendly fire gets turned on. So, and I also have to be careful because of the Drake Cannon. I really do like this gun. I think it's a good offensive tool as long as you get some range. Um, Pretty much, if you play up close, you, you're you not going to really take full advantage, I think, of the cannon, because it when you charge it up, it really spits the fire out, and it, cannot, it really hurts a lot. And you can get, obviously, a longer stream, which is helpful in pushing mobs back, you know, for obvious reasons. Or, if you're the only one facing an onslaught rush you can pretty much hose them down and there's not much they can really do about it. You kind of save the squad. So I'm going to go ahead um, and run this champion real quick like and see how this goes. 30, 30, and a 30 and I'm a 19. Alright, so this should go well. And I will try to cover, I know that there's a key on this level, or no, not, it's not, I think there's a key on this level. 
Maybe the, no, there's not a key on this level. I'll try to show where the books are. Um, they got really creative in how they hid these things, and I got to admit, they're a pain in the butt, but it is a challenge. All right, so off we go. And supposedly the mods are going to be coming out sometime this month, and it's going to be backed by Fat Shark, so that's going to be kind of entertaining. I personally can't wait for the quality of life mod. Um, I think that's making the bots a little smarter because the bots won't pick up the um, grimoires, and if and when you happen to come across the tome they have to not have a healing potion in their slot well they can drop that tome at any point and if you are paying attention even if you are paying attention there's not much you can really do about it unless they use that potion Now, the way I play my, I like to play my tank, a, a lot of people, I don't know, may agree, may not agree, play like this, don't play like this. I like to flank them. So when there's a squad coming, if I can flank as soon as they uh, get in, I find if they uh, are focusing on them, I can slice through their ranks. I don't know, some people like playing like that, some people don't. Just a personal choice, I suppose. Okay, that's not good. Oh, if he just stood there for another second. Yeah, just drop down. Just drop down. Just drop down. Yes, there is a key. Supposedly there's a skeleton here laying a boot that has a key at its hand. I'm not sure where it is, but the key is in here. Alright, Carillion got it. Okay. So that's where the key is, is it's at the, the base of a skeleton's hand. Now, one of the books is you have to do a 
jump test right here. Which somebody obviously did, I think. And I suck, so I'm not going to be getting it. Which is fine. Really? I did not know you could pull that off. Huh. All right, well. And that's one of the other complaints, is that switching... It can be a little laggy, or you don't push the button hard enough, or you scroll quick enough. And the Grim is right over here. Got to be a little feisty in how you do it. Because you don't want to fall off the edge, since everybody likes running off. Yeah, I don't trust them not coming up behind us. I absolutely love that gun. I can't help it. I realize that that might be kind of a... the wrong gun, I guess, for a tank. But I do love it. I can't help it. Okay, there's a book coming up.
Alright, so that kind of worked out. Okay, that book is if you walk the rest of that way, it's sitting right over there. Don't have to worry about me. I'm, I'm a big boy. These are evil times. Ocean, who wants it? Saggy on the lurk. Keep your eyes open, Tori. The air thickens with trouble. I'm not sure. Where did the uh, the other guys back there? Oh, all right, well. Come on, little buddy. Now the other Grim is at the top of this bridge, but it's definitely tricky because that's where it is right there. You have to drop. And if you don't drop correctly onto the very, very minuscule ledge, you go down. It's bad. Yeah, see, she got hurt pretty bad. But she wound up getting it, so it all worked out. I'm not sure if she got back up there, but okay. Oh, apparently he got it. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we're missing one tome, got both Grims. I'm fairly certain the next tome is in here. Just not sure where, so I'm gonna be watching them. Or not. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so he's going up there. Fair enough. Oh, dear. Oh, Down 
Really? Jerk. That's right. Leave the dwarf behind. I don't fear a storm vermin. Yep, the book is back up in there someplace. It must be a jump test. So that's where all the books are. Even though I didn't really detail exactly where pinpointing where they were, I gave the general directions, so you should be able to find them on your own. Two cubes right here, baby. Let's go. Get through mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, I might be eight, le only level 18, but I'm not a window licker. Don't worry. I mean, at least you guys are cool. It kind of feels like I'm being carried, but I'm trying to do my part. Oh, good, dude. Healing drop. Okay, so this one, you have to knock down some of these little postulant bubble things in three different places. And it's really kind of interesting. I like this map because it's kind of unforgiving. It's kind of brutal. Don't but it only serves one or two people to go down there because it actually does leave like a poison pool behind it as you break it. So you can't exactly lollygag while you're doing it. Okay, he got him. Never mind. I'll just uh, stand here at the door because that's what I do and stuff. And not get him. Okay, so I'll um, uh, I'll stand here because that's what I do. Time to go.
All right, so that worked out. All right, so open up my chest, see what we get, and go from there. So that's probably the coolest and best run I've ever had. I'm glad I actually got that on, on video. Hopefully this might make Emperor. Please, 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 please. Come on, be nice. Aw, oh, don't be like that. Alright, jerk. Thank you. So I was uh, special at nothing. Uh, at all, really. Um, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, was second lowest damage, at least. Okay, so, there's me. Thanks for playing. Alright, so let's see what we got. Or not. Or I'll just, uh, oh yeah, because he left, okay. Alright. And I'm back at the keep. There we go. And here we go. Oh, deed. Uh, heroes, power, limit, starting value, remove all talents, properties, and traits from the player. Oh, that champion, oh boy. Okay. And okay. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you see what you like, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to start doing more videos. I know I've been saying that, but... I've been kind of busy lately, so please come back and check out my other stuff. I've been doing Far Cry 5 and some other fun games.